The sale of cannibal oil. Cannibal oil? No! Cannabidiol, otherwise known as CBD, is one of the quickest growing industries in the United States. In December of 2018, hemp, the parent plant of CBD, was removed from the Controlled Substances Act in the United States. So, in the United States, it's not illegal anymore, as compared to other countries where it kind of still is. And with it becoming more and more legal, CBD is on track to become a $2 billion industry by 2024, if not sooner. So it's no surprise that CBD tea is becoming more popular as well. CBD Tea Facts Yes, the FDA may still be a little bit stingy when it comes to CBD. Mainly this is because there hasn't been tons of research done on it yet. And in my own opinion, they're just being a little bit small-minded about just how safe it is. CBD, in one form or another, has been used for thousands of years. And there are no deaths directly attributed to its use. Just to be clear, it is legal. Absolutely. CBD is kind of the bookworm sibling to its flashy older brother, THC. THC is that part of marijuana that's responsible for getting you high. And CBD is legally not allowed to have more than 0.3% THC in dry weight per serving. But can it still show up on a drug test? No! You are perfectly safe. CBD itself isn't even officially scanned for on drug tests, as it is not considered a narcotic. Have you had CBD tea and taken a drug test while on it? Well, please let me know in the comments, because I'd really like to hear what happened with you. So, why CBD tea? CBD tea is a great way of easing into the world of CBD products. Plus, people have reported that the effects of CBD tea provide much longer lasting effects than simply by using a CBD tincture or placing CBD drops under your tongue. Fun fact! The method of placing CBD drops under your tongue is known as sublingual administration. Which if you ask me, sounds just a little bit naughty. Yes, sublingual administration is faster if you want an immediate effect. But CBD tea, which metabolizes slower, is reported to have stronger overall effects and is considered to be the best method of introducing CBD into the body. Plus the ability to have CBD in a tea is a much tastier experience. Cause just sucking down CBD oil under your tongue isn't exactly like having a spoonful of sugar. Whereas CBD teas are often blended with various herbs that make it a much more pleasant and soothing experience. How much should I have? Many teas already come prepared with CBD in it. So if you're just following the standard dose per cup, you should be totally fine. For most teas, you should be having no more than three cups per day either way. If you are adding CBD oil directly into your tea, however, it's recommended that first time users of CBD should stay between 20 to 40 milligrams of CBD per day. Though several scientific reviews have shown that taking up to 1500 milligrams daily for four weeks have shown no negative effects. Pain and inflammation benefits. This is definitely one of the top reasons that a lot of people take CBD or even marijuana. And what CBD does really well is help reduce the perception of pain felt by a variety of sources, like muscle cramps, sprains and pulls, joint pain, and even arthritis. A 2018 review looked at studies between 1975 and 2018. These studies covered various types of pain, including cancer pain, neuropathic pain, and fibromyalgia. The results! CBD was considered very effective in its pain management and had negligible side effects. A 2016 study on rats showed that CBD can help with arthritis pain. And this was backed up by a 2020 review that also said CBD can possibly help with arthritis pain. Gut health benefits. There really isn't any research at all on this. Well, that sucks. Well, don't get too worried as CBD is an anti-inflammatory and analgesic, and it's also good at lowering cortisol levels, which helps with digestion issues and stress. And it's also believed that CBD tea can be helpful for many digestive issues, including IBS, colitis, 
gas, bloating, protecting your stomach lining and GI tract health. Stress and anxiety benefits. A 2020 review of social media posts, yep, we're in that world, showed how many CBD users talking about how it helped with their anxiety, anxiety-related insomnia, panic attacks, and PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. A 2015 study found that CBD was an effective treatment for various anxiety disorders, including social anxiety disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder. Another 2020 study showed how out of 297 adults, 70% of the participants reported some level of satisfaction or improvement in stress levels with CBD treatment, with only 9.9% saying they had any side effects. A different study showed that while 79% showed improvement in anxiety, another 15% actually had their symptoms worsen. Well, it just goes to show that we're all unique butterflies. And different herbs will affect each one of you beautiful flowers differently. Too sappy. Felt like I was channeling Stuart Smalley for a minute there. And doggone it, people like me. Sleep benefits. Studies on the benefits of CBD and sleep have been varied, with some studies having only 5% of the people showing improvement, and other studies had as many as 66% of the people showing improved sleep. One of the main reasons why might be this. One study in particular showed that sleep improvement was very slow to develop, and people improved gradually over a five month period. So while some people are lucky and it helps them with their sleep right away, it sounds like the rest of us may need to take it on a consistent basis over a long period of time before showing significant improvement. Various Diseases and Disorders A 2019 review showed how CBD can be beneficial for not just anxiety, but schizophrenia as well. However, a 2018 review showed no real difference between CBD and a placebo group for schizophrenia. Darn it, guess I'll just have to live with those voices in my head. However, there have also been promising studies that show CBD can help with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and even multiple sclerosis. Side Effects While CBD tea isn't gonna make you all loopy and drugged out, it has been known to cause a slowing of muscle reaction and sleepiness in some cases. So, to protect yourself and others, you should avoid driving or operating heavy machinery after having it. While it won't get you high, it is thought that CBD may interact with alcohol or other drugs and increase the intensity of intoxication. So probably best not to mess around with it if you're having lots of drugs and alcohol. Finally, certain animal studies suggest it could possibly cause cases of infertility. But mind you, this is very limited research. So just avoid it or consult a medical professional if you're at all worried about this possibility. Other than that, go out and grab a nice cup of CBD tea and chill. CBD and chill, not Netflix and chill. Completely different things. If you want to learn more amazing tea benefits, then watch either one of these amazing videos right here. Please, be kind. Take care of each other and enjoy more tea.